Today I'm going to draw a nightmare creature with ink. Well hello there, I'm Detroit. I almost never draw something coherent with ink. That's something I usually keep for the digital drawings that I upload every Sunday. Well today I'm not going full abstract. I want to draw something that actually makes sense with ink. I'm going to draw a nightmare creature that looks feline. I'm sketching the main shapes with a pencil and now I can go in with a rotring isograph. The style I'm going f Wait, there's no ink in my pen. Time to refill! Great, now my hands are full of ink. I'll be right back. Take this time to subscribe! Okay, so as I tried to say before, the style I'm going for is messy and thin. The nightmare creature should have a texture resembling that of a rock. Because I sketched the overall shapes, I can go wild with the line art and make it really messy. For each part I'm deciding on an orientation so that I can give it a twist later, by angling the indentations on the silhouette. This whole drawing is an iterative process. I'm drawing the outline with a rotring 0.35, but it's quite a thick nib, so then I'm gonna use a Unipin 0.03 fine liner. With it, I can continue the indentations and make cracks inside the shapes, which is why I called it a rock texture earlier. It's a nightmare creature. It's gonna have horns slash spikes, a few horrible teeth filled mouth, and deformed eyes here and there. For the shape, I took inspiration on a picture of the jaguar I found on internet. For the rest, I'm letting the pen speak for me. At first I was supposed to make another kind of drawing today. I wanted the topic of the video to be about mandalas and see with the drawing if any shape could be mandalaified. I drew a few shapes and filled them with patterns like that of a mandala but not circular. Turns out, it doesn't look that good. I mean, I can show you the result on screen. I already posted this pic to Instagram a long time ago, which you can see by searching at d3 underscore sd over there. But not now. For now, keep watching. This cat thing is only beginning to look good. What's nice with this sort of drawing and the iterative process is that you don't have to know exactly where you're going to draw a good picture. It started with the outline, then with the fine liner, I simply extended the cracks and covered the body of the beast, but sparingly. Once the shape is filled with the first pass of the pen, I can decide if another pass is worth it, and so on until I'm satisfied. The second pass was for shading the inside of the mouth and making occlusion shadows. It looked too flat before, and after that there is a real feeling of 3D. It's not really a pattern, but the style of the wonky shaky lines makes it really easy to shade. The pen nib is so thin that you can add a lot of lines until it's shaded properly. It's almost cross-hatching, but not with straight lines. It feels nice to do, and it makes it hard to mess up and overshade it. Less thinking, more enjoyment. You can see it well when I draw shadows on the ground below the creature's paws, near the end of the drawing. In my head canon, this creature is part of hell, with a big H. It's a doom creature that was born from dried lava chunks. When a volcano erupts in the first layer of hell and lava flows, the solidified lava after a while breaks into chunks from which these creatures are born. Hell volcano eruptions might not always be effusive, like they don't always produce lava. Some of them are explosive, you know, the bad bad ones that produce toxic clouds of burning ash that are even more destructive than lava and tends to asphyxiate and destroy everything on their path. In hell, you're really lucky if the eruption is an effusive one, because out of all the creatures in the first circle of hell, these rock felines are the nicest. Their explosive counterparts are called ashens. They're basically a dark burning mass that tends to assimilate the residents of hell into the ash pile it leaves behind. Next to the ashens, the rock felines are really cute. Note that both creatures are part of the very lowest in the rankings of hell. I mean, they're only on the first layer and they are just personified offsprings of volcano eruptions. You should see the real tormentors, the ones that do things to the dead people. Cats and Ashens are more like pets over there. Oh, and I should say, real world cats are a thing of beauty. I love them and they absolutely don't deserve a place in hell, and I love them. In this story, cat is only referring to these nightmare creatures, and I love them too. One day, somebody told me to go to hell, and so I did. 
I was curious of what hell was like. For the first trip, I only went on the first layer. This is where I was greeted by this cat I'm drawing. There's something you need to know, in case you also decide to go visit there one day. The Ashens are weird creatures. I'm not certain if they're sentient or not, they just seem to walk around aimlessly. Kinda like a Brownian movement, burning things until they dissipate. Cats, on the other hand, are very friendly. They will run to you and be all buddy-buddy with you. If that happens, that's good. It means they like you, but be careful. They are made of hot and sharp stone, after all. One whack of the twin tails of this cat and your arm might as well be gone. I was fine when that happened in the end because limbs regrow in hell. That makes sense, after all, the torture needs to continue. But it's still very unpleasant, especially the first time. What you have to look out for with these cats, mostly, is the licky licky they do when they like you. Don't know if you noticed, but the teeth are horribly sharp and they will sink into your flesh and tear it apart in a second. That's very painful. Ugh, it makes me shiver thinking about it. Wait until I tell you about what's down the second, third and fourth day of hell. But I'm getting sidetracked. You were here just to watch a drawing video initially. Besides, I'm gonna go back to hell soon to visit the fifth and sixth layer. I might as well wait till then and make a full video about it. I hope I don't die. I'm crossing my fingers. In the meantime, my Instagram is at d300scoresd, my Twitter is at detroit. Like the video and comment your questions about hell. I'll gladly answer them. Subscribe if you wanna hear more about my personal life, like today. I'll see you in hell. Bye!